Hi, I'm Julie Hickey from Craftwork Cards and welcome to Craft Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to use a punch circle to create a flower just like this with that lovely fringe centre. So you could decorate a bottle up, you could give it as a gift, it's just a really lovely way. You can use it on cards as well, scrapbook pages, anything. Home decor projects, it's just perfect. So I started with a piece of pattern paper and just a circle punch. Doesn't matter what size it is, I've used a one and three eighths circle punch, but it really doesn't matter. So I've punched out, you need about 12 to 13 circles. So you, I've punched them all out and I've just gone around the edge with an ink pad just to add that little bit of color to it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to snip almost into the center of each of the circles. So do that to all of them. And then you're going to use a little bit of glue and just pop that down just along the top and you're going to overlap making it a little bit like a cup shape so a bit like a flying saucer and you're going to do that to all of your 12 13 piece circles that you need obviously it depends on how dimensional and how full you want your flower to be i've actually seen them made just with seven petals and they look just as lovely but i'm going to show you how to do it using about 12 of the circles so again, just a little bit of glue and then overlap them so that you're making it into like a little bit of a, a cup sort of shape, a bit like a flying saucer. So then you're going to start, we we'll use one that's already dried. I'm going to put a little bit of glue across the join and then I'm going to overlap a second one on the top. Just squeeze that down, just give that glue a little bit of a chance to dry. Then a little bit of glue on the other two circles and you're going to overlap the third one so you're starting to form the centre of your flower. Then you're just going to keep going, adding little bits of glue as you go. I usually tend to put it on the joins and then I'm going to overlap the petals so that you've got them in between the, the first row where you started. So just a little bit of glue, overlap them and just build that flower up as you go round. Adding the glue to each petal each time until you like how it looks. So again, just glue, overlap and offset your petals as you go. And it's gonna give you a bit, bit of a flat back to the flower. So it's perfect then if you want to actually put it into a bottle, you can add, I've used um, kebab sticks to actually, for the stems of my flowers, um, but you could use all sorts of things. You could actually roll card up and make stems out of card as well. So just build your flower up until you like the shape of it, and the size of it as well. These would make really fantastic corsages as well if you put a, a, a badge back onto them as well. So then you take a very thin strip of paper, so not too wide, but just over half an inch, and then I'm going to cut into it, and I've started off already, so you're just gonna fringe this all the way to the end. So just with your scissors, down as far as you can without cutting through, and do that all the way so that you've got a complete piece fully fringed. Then starting with a little bit of glue at one end, you're gonna coil this up to make the center of the flower. So you just do this round and round and round. Try to keep it as tight as you can, just putting a little bit of glue on as you go each time. So once the glue, you've covered that glue, just put a little bit more down, coil that up, trying to keep it nice and tight. And you want to try and keep the bottom of it quite flat as well, because that's obviously how you're going to attach it to the center of your flower. So again, just a little bit more glue and then coil that all the way up. Keep doing that, keeping it nice and tight all the way to the end. And then I'm going to glue this into the center of my flower and I can open that up and it's gonna give it a really lovely fringed effect. So you want to put some glue in the middle there and then pop that down into the center of the flower. Obviously when you're doing this at home, I would give that a chance to, for the glue to go off before you actually pull your petals down, but then you're just gonna use your fingers and just go round gently, opening those fringe petals up until you've got that nice spiky center for your flower. So I think it looks really lovely if you then maybe stamp a leaf or you can cut a leaf shape, but it looks lovely if you add it to a decorative bottle and it just looks a really nice finishing touch, maybe something you could add to your table to give you a really nice arrangement. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. There's plenty more on the Craft Academy and I hope to see you again soon.